A construction project on Main Street, New Albany to help the city has hurt several shops downtown, resulting in disastrous lost wages and employees. WHS 11 night teams Bobby McSwine and photojournalist Ian Hardwood have been following the story closely. They're joining us live right now from downtown New Albany. And Bobby, this financial relief isn't welcome news to some business owners. Yes, that's right. We're right outside one of the shops that who voiced concerns tonight. She said that she had patients fall right outside of her business due to the construction. She says the loan repayment doesn't allow the option to recover from the losses suffered in the last nine months. Repayment would start in January. That's just three months after construction is set to end. And that would mean they would have to rely on a bustling holiday season. And January is widely known as the slow season in retail. And frankly, those terms were slightly insulting. Downtown New Albany business owners struggling. Yes, it'll help potentially float to get by, but it doesn't fix the issues that have occurred over the last several months. They are not satisfied with the city's response to the ongoing Main Street construction. They say it has impacted their operations and bottom lines. Signs lining downtown streets, pointing patrons to a candy shop they might overlook. Another asking customers to enter through the second floor deck. Small business owners say they've lost employees and a countless number of customers. New Albany City Engineer made it clear the Indiana Department of Transportation doesn't see compensation recovery as a priority. I've asked this question and they actually said, there is no precedent and they do not want there to become a precedent for that. But the new Albany City Council met in hopes of resolving the financial issues. The plan to add $50,000 to one Southern Indiana's small business loan program, which was created specifically for those affected by construction. The ordinance was unanimously approved, but most agree it's not the perfect solution. If I needed this for operational expenses and to get from point A to point B um, to get through the end of this construction, um, I I, I, this opportunity um, I would say that I would look at seriously. It's not a good option for them. Uh, we're asking them to go further into debt. You know, the fact of the matter is a lot of these businesses aren't going to survive this construction and it's critical that uh, we, we do more. One Southern's loan program requires a payback, but would give between $2,500 and $25,000 with a 0% interest rate. Businesses will have to start repayment in January of next year, with three years to repay. Though One Southern says the plan is imperfect, they see it as an opportunity for recovery. This isn't going to be a panacea that's going to, that's going to affect that's going to save everyone and bring them right, make them all whole instantly. We've recognized that, but it's something to offer and we feel it's our, uh, uh, it's our obligation. Now, to be clear, the city council unanimously approved the first and second reading of the ordinance. The third will come at the next meeting. Now, the application does close at Friday on Friday at 5 p.m. One Southern says it has one submission and it expects 14 by Friday. I'm live in New Albany. Bobby McSwine, the WHAS 11 night team on your side.